Hi, I'm Kim the Abundant Traveler and welcome to the channel. Today it's all about what I put in my carry-on when I'm flying. Maybe domestically, maybe overseas, but I have traveled hundreds of thousands of miles. So this is everything that you're going to need. Let's go ahead and start with my backpack and my suitcase. So I carry a backpack with me. This is a Samsonite backpack and I love this one. The reason I love this one is it is a little bit more sophisticated and elegant than a traditional packing, uh, like backpacking backpack. This I also use as my primary purse. I can fit in my large computer, all of my goodies in here. There's plenty of pockets all the way around. This is by Samsonite and it is my favorite. I've been through this. I've had probably two or three of these over the years because I love them so much. The next is my actual carry-on suitcase and this is the Travel Pro Max Lite. The reason that I love this is that it has a zipper on both sides. Also, it is hard-sided, so all of my goodies, I feel, are a little more protected. It also has the extended zipper, so if you overpack, it's fine. It's going to be fine. You can actually stuff lots and lots of things in this carry-on. I can probably go for an entire week just with this carry-on. I love it. Airplane travel can be uncomfortable, so you want to be prepared for anything. You want to have the right clothes. You want to have the right things. You want to have all of your goodies as far as your Kindle, etc. And you want to possibly have a few things that are creature comforts of home just to make your flight a little easier. So let's talk about some creature comforts. Number one, I bring a neck pillow for when I'm going to be sleeping. I like the Kebo and I, it, one, it fits in this tiny little packet, but it is so comfortable. It is one of the nicest, best, fits my long neck as well. It is just so comfortable to use. And also it has a strap on the back that can go over the back of your airplane seat. So this can strap to the back of your airplane seat. That way it's not falling and your head's not falling when you're trying to sleep. I think the Kebo, I've done a lot of research and tried a lot of these. This I think is the best one you can get for the money. Another thing for comfort that I take on every single flight. I actually travel with this jacket all of the time. I have it in two colors. It is Lululemon and it is a gorgeous, delicious, warm yet structured look sophisticated jacket uh, with a hood if you get extra cold also there are several zippered pockets and for me traveling on airplanes i always travel with a jacket with zippered pockets that way i can put my phone in one side and my passport in the other and my boarding pass and i always know where they are i don't lose them going through security i don't sit them sit them down somewhere and leave them at a restaurant they're always in my pocket not to worry you don't have to write any of this down it is all in the description below and i have a free download that is everything i put in my carry-on but this lululemon is an absolute must as far as other creature comforts i always bring a large wrap not just a scarf but a large wrap this one is also from lululemon they don't sell them anymore but amazon has some great ones this is huge it will be a blanket it rolls up as an extra pillow if you want it's also sophisticated enough that if you throw it over your shoulder it looks really really good you know when i was growing up going to the airport was a big deal we used to wear our sunday best going to the airport now it's all about leggings sweats being comfortable but sometimes you want something like the Lululemon jacket or this scarf that just makes you look a little more tailored and a little more ready to go for when you arrive at that amazing destination. The next item for comfort is a pair of socks and I do recommend compression socks. Also, if you're not into compression socks, definitely bring socks when you're going through security anyway because most of the time you have to take off your shoes and you don't wanna be walking through the airport security line without a pair of socks. So. I always bring socks, that way I can take off my shoes and put on my good compression socks or the regular socks and just enjoy and cuddle up if I, especially on a long haul flight. So yes, I fly all of the time, long haul flights, short flights, overnight flights, and you know what? Most of the time I fly for free. How do I do that? I use my airline credit cards to fly for free. They have amazing sign up bonuses. There's also credit cards that the 
points transfer over to an airline. So if you're interested in learning more about those credit cards, United, American, Southwest, even the Chase Preferred, go to the description below and click the link to learn more about those particular cards. So talking about clothes that are just maybe not about comfort, but clothes, I always bring an extra tank top with me. I love wearing my Lululemon jacket, but when I'm on a long haul flight, I've slept in my shirt and I do like changing my shirt. Uh, so I just bring an extra tank top. It's easy to wad up. Also, sometimes I get food or drinks or whatever on my tank top, so I just always want to have an extra one. I also, on a long haul flight, I bring a change of underwear, but of course you don't need to see that. Now that we've covered clothes and luggage, let's talk about some of the electronics that I recommend carrying with you. Number one, bring a backup battery. You never know when you will need a backup. Also, make sure these days that your backup batteries have USB and USB-C. There are so many things now switching over to USB-C. It's extremely important as well. I also recommend bringing one of these. This is a multi-point charger. That way you can charge your computer, USB and USB-C all at the same time. Um, they do make these, in fact, this is my European version and I love this thing. I love it so much, I have two of them. This is wonderful to have in any location because you're likely only gonna have one plug. So I have this in the US version and this in the European version and I can plug everything in at once. This is the best. Every piece of luggage that you have, your backpack, your purse, if you're carrying your passport separately and your carry-on, get an air tag. This will save you if somebody takes your stuff or if the airline loses your bag. This will tell you where your luggage is at all times. It will tell you also where you left it if you left it at the restaurant in the airport. These are amazing. You can buy them in a three pack or as a single and you just um, connect them to your iPhone uh, like you do find my phone or find my computer. So these air tags are amazing. Definitely worth the money. Um, I've lost things or the airline has lost things and I'm like, wait, but it's actually at the airport. It's actually down there by the airplane. And they go, well, how do you know that? And I'm like, show them my phone, show them that my air tag is showing that my piece of luggage is still on the airplane. In addition to all the goodies we're talking about, there are a couple intangibles that I recommend. One is travel insurance. Don't leave home without it. It's ridiculous not to get travel insurance because when you need it, you need it. I do recommend using Travel Insurance Master. I've left a link in the description below and it provides a bunch of different options for you so you can find the best insurance for you. In addition to travel insurance, I recommend that you get MedJet. MedJet is a membership and it is there to help you if there is a real problem. If you're in a hospital in a foreign country, they will come fly you home. If you're in a, have, in a country that has a coup, a natural disaster, or God forbid you get kidnapped, they will help get you out of that country and fly you home. This is something very special and it is a yearly membership and I definitely recommend that you buy this. It's so worth having just in case something happens. Also with USB and USB-C, I recommend getting a converter between the two. A lot of the airplanes are not equipped with USB-C at this point they, and they have USB. Also, a lot of airports haven't converted over as well, so having this is fantastic to have. It's a little $10 trinket and it's worth having because when you need it, you need it. As far as converters as well, most airplanes these days still have the old school plugs if you're plugging into the back of a seat for the entertainment. So I recommend instead of having the crappy, free, lousy uh, earphones that are given to you at, on the airplane, I recommend going ahead and getting a pair like this. Some of the advantages of having these on your own, one, it's your ears and you get to take it with you. Also, sometimes they give these out on the airplane after you've taken off and they collect them before you land. Well, if you're in the middle of a movie, you do not wanna stop watching the movie so they can collect the earphones. So if you have your own, that is ideal. Then again, you have a converter. That way, if you need, you can convert this right here and plug it into your phone if the entertainment is um, through your app. Speaking of apps, 
make sure that you download the app for the particular airline that you are flying because a lot of the entertainment and seat selections and information are on the app. Another advantage of downloading the airline app is sometimes you can only pay with a credit card on the flight and sometimes you have to pay through the app. So go ahead, download the app, that way you'll get the entertainment if it's on the app and also you'll be able to purchase something because it will ask for your credit card information. Just an extra little tip that's not about a carry-on. Let's talk a little bit about food, water, things like that. I always bring some nuts with me. Always, always, always. Maybe they came from Costco, but I go ahead and I bring those in a Ziploc baggie with me. I typically do not eat the food on an airplane. I find it a lot of, to be a lot of sugar, a lot of salt, and my body doesn't want to digest that when I actually need to be going to sleep on the long haul flight instead of digesting my food. So I always bring some nuts and maybe a granola bar, wrap them up separately, stuff them in my backpack, and I'm good to go. I also bring gum. I bring chewing gum. I bring gum because it will help with the ears popping and the equilibrium of your ears when you're going up and down. Also, sometimes I don't want caffeine, but I love the ritual of a hot drink. So I always bring a couple of packets. This is chamomile and ginger, but I'll bring some herbal teas, some white teas that don't have any caffeine because when you're on a long haul flight or an overnight flight, sleep is extremely important. So I like the ritual of hot drinks, but I don't always need the caffeine. And even the tea on airplanes is caffeinated. So in addition to food, I recommend bringing an empty water bottle with you, one that fits in your backpack or your carry-on, and also make sure that it is narrow enough to fit in the back of the seat in front of you, in that netting. Um, it's always great to have an extra water bottle. You can fill it up in most airports, especially in the US, and it's just nice to have this with you on your travels because um, it's good to drink water. There are a couple of things that I bring on every flight for sleep. Number one is an eye mask. Make sure that the eye mask that you get is has like a little pocket for your eye and it's not smooshing your eye here. So once I have my eye mask, I also bring a set of earplugs just in case. Norm I always bring just a sample of these. I also bring noise canceling earphones but I don't have them with me. I've ordered the new bows, so I'm excited about those, but I do bring these just in case. Just in case I wanna lean against the window and I have that big earphone, um, I don't, I just take that out and I put these in and they work perfectly. If you are on a long haul flight or an overnight flight and you need reading glasses, my recommendation is blue light blocking reading glasses. The reason is, is because the blue light is built to keep you awake. It wants you to watch the entire movie. So watching your phone and watching the movies on the seat uh, the seat in front of you, you need to be having blue light blocking glasses or you'll have trouble sleeping. So that helps me sleep. Also, my Lululemon jacket has a hood on it, which actually helps block out a little bit of the light. To me, it's extremely important to block out the light and the noise. You know, think about in the middle of the night, uh, a tiny little sound can wake you up. Well, when you're in an airplane, there are lots of people rumbling around you and your body doesn't get good solid rest because there's so much noise and also so much light at all times. So do what you can to sleep. Speaking of sleep as well, I do recommend bringing a, some type of natural sleep aid if that is your thing. Um, I, I'm not a big prescription person, so I wouldn't bring a prescription, but I do have melatonin and I think it's a great thing just to take if you're on a long haul flight and I always bring a little of this in my carry-on. Other supplements I bring in my carry-on. I always bring some vitamin C, either emergency or um, this vitamin C from now. I like this one. Um, it's easy. I bring boning with me, which is a non-drowsy Dramamine. Just in case we have a rough flight and I need a little extra help, I don't tend to get nauseous on an airplane, but you just never know. Always good to have boning. Also bring any allergy medicine. This is just my little packet. Oh, by the way, I love these little envelopes. They can pack everything. So I pack my allergy medicine in this, and then I also pack a little bit of ibuprofen as well. Bring all of the medication that you are supposed to take on your trip. Just in case that they lose your checked luggage, it's best to have all of your medication in your carry-on. So 
I don't have much medication, but I do take some supplements. Now that we have our warm clothes, we have all of our electronics, we have a little bit of food and goodies, let's talk about the toiletries that I bring with me on a flight. Number one, I always bring a little bit of toothpaste, and I love my Tom's little travel size. I also bring some hand sanitizer, and I bring some wet wipes. You just never know when you're gonna need these. Hand sanitizer, anytime you get up and go somewhere else in the airplane, and the wipes are really, really great to wipe down your tray, your uh, netting in front of your tray, also your, your seat back and, and everything. So these are extremely important as well. I always bring a little bit of, this is a, a face spray, which is really nice. It is super dehydrating in an airplane, so it's always nice to have this. It just gives your face just a little bit of life um, and a little bit of hydration that we need after a long flight. Hydration, I also bring hand cream and I also bring a body cream as well. Um, these are just some small, less than 3.4 ounces that I bring with me. Um, I always, and also something to know, I do love go tubes as my 3.4 ounce or 100 mil. So if I'm going to 100% carry on, these guys will fit. And I, to date, knock on wood, I haven't had these leak ever, ever, ever. I love these. I also bring some makeup remover wipes. Of course, I don't bring the whole packet, but I bring some of those to uh, wipe my face before I am taking a nap or going to bed if I'm on an overnight flight. I also bring some tissues and I bring some deodorant, but be careful about bringing deodorant. You want a travel size. It's up to the TSA guy to let this through or not. So I wouldn't recommend bringing this big one and definitely not an aerosol or a roller that is more than 3.4 ounces, but just get a travel size. I just happen to have this, so that's why I brought this up. And one of my favorite things that is not a toiletry, but it's close enough, is my Tide Stick. I love my Tide Stick. I never leave home without it. Anytime I get a spot, if I spill anything from oil to wine to whatever, dirt, I just use my Tide Stick and it keeps my clothes clean. It's my favorite thing to travel with ever. Now a couple of random things. I always bring a extra little bag like this that is just folds up and it's super easy. You never know what you're gonna buy. You might buy some food and wanna bring it onto the airplane or you might find some goodies at the airport. So I always bring one of these. Also in my carry-on, I do, and when I'm, yeah, this is what I carry on, don't laugh. This is a gigantic duffel bag. This duffel bag will fold up into about this size and I always put it in my carry-on. That's for my shopping. If my luggage gets lost, I need an extra bag and I always put this in my carry-on. It may look huge, but it is super, it wads up super small and I always carry it with me. My friends who I travel with love that I carry this um, because they can put all of their shopping in there to take it home. <laughs> Couple other bags that I always bring with me. I always bring some one quart bags just in case one breaks or anything like that. Also, I can put nuts in this or any uh, extra little bits and pieces that I need on my, on my travels. I also bring a trash bag and a trash bag, sometimes I bring a big one. Uh, like a big kitchen trash bag. Sometimes I bring a small one. There's lots of things that you can do with this, including lining your seat back pocket, um, you know, because they can be dirty. So that's also, also really, really important. Finally, a couple of things. I always bring some hair ties, put my hair up when I want to take a nap as well. If you're curious about flying, I have some other amazing videos on fear of flying, long haul flights, as well as first time flying. Also, if you have any recommendations for what I should put in my carry-on, please leave them in the comment below. I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and I cannot wait to see you on some amazing, hopefully first class flight, very, very soon. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.